Hi, so today we are going to look at real-time compositing workflow using Unreal Engine and Composure. So here uh, we'll, we'll see how we are going to build a real-time compositing tools going to Composure um, layers and Composure passes and then how to build a multi-layer pass in Composure and also uh, some workflow and samples um, I provided in my GitHub. So if you go look at Composure and create a new comp, call this Composure, you'll be able to add a layer element. And inside that layer element, you can have multiple transform passes here. So that's what uh, we are going to look at today. So what are the difference between layers and passes? So here we see each layer can have multiple passes and each pass can access the result of any child layers, but not the passes inside those child layers. So in this example, we have one layer called Luma from media. It will be able to access the result of the child, in this case, key color and media. So this is the sample. I have a layer called Luma from media. Inside it, I have three uh, transform passes. And the first one can access the child layer. So I have two child layers, one called key color and the other one called media. So this transform pass is able to grab media or key color, which is the child for uh, on this layer as its input. Each transform pass can also get the result of the pass before it. So in this example, the, the second pass I call green here is able to get a pass, which is the result of the pass before, uh, before this pass. So the result of chrominance we can pass it to the next one, uh, green pass, just using a pre-pass uh, pre um, option. So why we built uh, multi-layers instead of putting everything in one um, blueprint material? So um, in Composure, you have two options to pass texture. One is a text object parameter, and the other one is texture sample parameter 2D. So with text object, you have the full texture information. So you can loop through or access neighboring pixels, but with texture sample, uh, you can only access one pixel at a time. And in Unreal's uh, material blueprint, you can pull texture sample from a text object, but you cannot make a text object from a sample. So it goes one way only. Because with text object parameter, you're able to access the neighboring pixel, you can use this um, for mathematical functions to loop through, such as Gaussian blur, erode, uh, grow, and um, ad other, other functions that needs the full texture information. Unfortunately, the result of the loop through is a texture sample. Uh, so if you need to do multiple passes that needs the full texture information, it would not be available in a single material blueprint. So you will need to have multiple passes or multiple layers that will output a text object for the next layer or pass to manipulate. So in, so in simple terms, you have a text object as an input to a pass or to a layer it will output another text object that you can use in subsequent passes and layers. So at this point, I wanna point out the impact on performance. There are impacts on performance if you do multiple layer rendering to a text object, but this workflow is best for uh, prototyping as you have instant feedback uh, on each layer and um, passes. So for example, you have media here, and you can check all the passes here instead of having to compile 
the material uh, with a single material. And you can always disable and enable each individual layers and see how it impacts the layer after it or above it. So after that, let's go to the link to my GitHub here. You can download all the materials that you can use as a material for the composite layers. Just download the code here. And you can copy paste this folder to your projects content folder. After you copy and pasted it to your project in Windows Explorer, you should be, be able to see all the materials here like this. So each uh, CX material um, can be used in composure layer and passes similar to how um, you build nodes in your offline compositor. So for example here, CX invert will invert the color of um, a, a previous pass. You can see here if I disable invert and enable invert. So in my GitHub project, I include six different sample levels on how to use the CX nodes. So you have an additive keyer. You'll find everything here in CX samples. This is a dspill base keyer that doesn't, uh, doesn't use an alpha mat. You will also find two different type of uh, plate equali equalizer. The first one is clean plate equalizer. So here you have your media and you also provide uh, a clean plate image. Based on that, it will use the difference to, to equalize the background plate. The next equalizer will estimate the clean plate if you don't have a clean plate image. CX plate equalizer. So you have media, you select the brightest green from your uh, media. It will estimate a clean plate and it will try to equalize the background. So the result of this, you can pipe to a keyer to have a better result. So next you have a clean plate base keyer so here you provide a clean plate image with the media and it will use the difference to uh, produce an alpha mat. Next we have a transparency keyer. This is also a clean plate based uh, difference keyer but instead of using a provided clean plate it will estimate the clean plate using the logic from, from this um, compositing layer. So here you have your media and your equalized background. It will use the difference between that and the um, estimated clean plate to produce a mat which you can then um, multi uh, multiply and um, compose it with the background. Finally, we have another implementation of LightRap. Um, this time it's modular using CX.
So here you have a heat um, media. I'm using Unreal's uh, Unreal Engine Composer's um, included uh, keyer material and generate a light wrap layer which then is blended together. You see here if I turn on and off the light wrap there's a subtle difference. So what's next? You can use Unreal Engine then to become a real-time software keyer, not necessarily using um, the background rendered in Unreal Engine. You can use any um, camera or video or image feed uh, as the background or foreground. So as a sample here in my transparency keyer, in my final layer, I have an over layer which takes input from background and pre-pass. And the background is take, taking from the cinema camera actor here. But if I have a texture here, texture layer, I can always change this over to use that instead. And that can be an image that can be a video input as well. So you can have a separate machine just doing the composite real time, whereas you have another machine that does the Unreal rendering or um, anything else that you can um, um, that that you need. So um, that's it for now. I will try to go into more details on each sample in the um, uh, upcoming videos. Uh, thanks to Mihran for the plate equalizer algorithm. You can find find it here and Clement for the tutorial on the straight die key uh, algorithm. Thank you.